Hello and welcome to another reading from the book, Awahai Calling, a Daily Devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Let Your Light Shine, October 18th. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew 5 verse 16 To every soul born into Christ's kingdom is given a solemn charge. Let your light so shine before men that they, by seeing your good works, shall glorify your Father which is in heaven. Pour forth upon your neighbors the rich rays of light received from the Son of Righteousness. Flash upon your friends in the world the bright gems of light and truth imparted to you abundantly from the throne of God. This is trading upon the talents entrusted. Go on from light to a greater light, catching more and more the bright beams from the sun of righteousness, and shine more and more unto the perfect day. Jesus does not bid the Christian to strive to shine, but just to let his light shine in clear and distinct rays to the world. Do not blanket your light. Do not sinfully withhold your light. Do not let the mist and fog and malaria of the world put out your light. Do not hide it under a bed or under a bushel, but set it on a candlestick, that it may give light to all that are in the house. God bids you shine, penetrating the moral darkness of the world. Many do not know what is the matter with them. They want light and see no ray. They are calling for help, but they hear no response. Shall doubt and unbelief be perpetuated, because I do not gather the divine rays of light from Jesus Christ, and let them shine forth to others? The deep struggles of my own soul against temptations, the earnest longings of my mind and heart to know God and Jesus Christ as my personal Savior, and to have assurance, peace, and rest in their love, lead me to desire every day to be where the beams of the Son of Righteousness can shine upon me. Without this experience, I shall indeed meet with great loss, and all with whom I associate will be affected by the loss of the light I ought to be receiving from the source of all light and comfort, and to be flashing into their pathway. Shall I be indeed a light unto the world, or a shadow of darkness? Thank you for listening today. Be sure to check out the remainder of the readings from the devotional, Our High Calling. They are found under the playlist entitled, Daily Devotional Readings.